Uh, uh, record. All right. <clears throat> okay, let's start with prayer. Father God, we thank you for another opportunity to have this uh, discussion with these dear students. I ask your blessing for uh, each one of them, their families, their children, and their, your blessing for their ministry. Um, keep them healthy, keep them strong, and uh, bless their ministry in reaching out to their different target people and help them as they are finishing up the uh, last chapters of their uh, thesis. Uh, we pray the, all these things and commit our time into your hand. We pray all these things in the Lord Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Good, good, good. Good, Dan. How are you? Okay. Uh, let me just mention a few things, and I believe I mentioned that in the comments that I put for your assignment, but just go over them uh, so that... Others can also use them. And I believe I put them on a bulletin board. For the chapter on linguistic, and make sure that you have a section on the silent language, the body language, how people communicate without uh, speaking. Um, and I believe if you go to those uh, textbooks by the cultural anthropology, uh, Dr. Hebert or Dr. Howell, there are a number of information about silent language. And I think I gave you guys PowerPoint on silent language. If you need information on that, please let me know. Um, also include a number of you guys have done that, but make sure that you have a section about literacy, uh, illiteracy and literacy rate of among your target people and discuss the Bible translation among your target people when you're doing the linguistic part. Uh, discuss the impact of the uniqueness of the language of your target people um, for um, Bible translation. Um, one more thing, just when you're using, uh, you know, uh, thank you, all of you guys are doing this, uh, having the bridge sentence moving from one chapter to another, but also when you do that, make sure that uh, you emphasize that, you, for example, when you're going from a linguistic study to social distinctiveness uh, of your target people, uh, also add just maybe a phrase or a sentence that, we, that you want to uh, see how we, uh, these um, uh, social distinctive uh, elements can contribute to the communication of the gospel. So you want to not only connect with the next chapter, but also keep connecting with the overall goal, overall purpose of your thesis. Uh, don't make it uh, repetitious, you know, uh, use creativity, you know, you don't, uh, the readers don't like it when it's always just like a cliche at the end of each chapter. Uh, try to use some variety, uh, but basically you want to convey the idea of now we are going to uh, another aspect of this culture and we want to discuss the, the, its impact upon church planting. Um, let me also go to the syllabus and uh, go over that. Let me just one moment. Uh, uh, any question while I'm trying to upload the syllabus, I mean, put it, bring it to the share screen. If you have any question, feel free to ask. So the Bible translation part would be better to be placed in the linguistics uh, chapter and not the communicating the gospel. Definitely. Okay, that's a very good question. Uh, no, I do want it in a, a communication of the gospel, but in the linguistic part, I want to see when you're discussing all those elements of the uniqueness of the language of, for example, Mongolian people, how these uh, uh, unique elements impact the Bible translation. I want to see that. 
Uh, but then definitely when we go to communication of the gospel, you need to have that and for maybe in far more detail. Okay. And I think we're getting uh, some kind of a uh, noise feedback from you. <laughs> Is that you? Yeah, I don't know where does that come from. <laughs> okay, um, let me just uh, locate this. Uh, 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 okay. All right. Are you guys all healthy? You know, you, you hear the news about uh, another version of uh, COVID-19. <laughs> are you guys all doing okay? So okay, are good. You? Mm -hmm. good, 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 good. Okay, uh, so let's see. We are moving and uh, uh, here we are. Okay, uh, we started the week of July 25th that you're supposed to write on chapter 12, integration of Christian discipleship. For that, see the sample thesis chapter 13, but again, remember the difference in the numbers and submit chapter 12 by Sunday. And also one more thing, make sure all of you that your cover, pay, cover pay, uh, page for your project, for your thesis, it is try to cover exactly like one of the sample thesis that um, you see uh, under the file. Um, uh, follow one of, the, one of them and try to cover it exactly like that. So you, this week you focus on integration of Christian discipleship, chapter 12, um, which is basically, you know, like uh, chapter 11 was about communication of gospel. Chapter 12 is basically about, uh, in a way, church planting, discipleship church planting. And after that, um, when we come to August, all you have to do is just write a conclusion uh, and um, write your, make sure your all your appendixes are there, figures, table, um, a, a, a table, you know, a table of figures, table of um, uh, tables, <laughs> and um, you know, by the end of would be, let me see, uh, yeah, the next week, uh, submit your uh, uh, the 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 kind of the rough draft of your thesis. And then uh, starting next week, I will contact these uh, our prof to start scheduling appointment for you guys for oral defense. Any question, anything I can explain or answer? Well, with the use of the Bible, like you were saying before, um, can I also build that into chapter 12 rather than chapter 11 since Basically, in chapter 11, when I present the gospel, the, I'm assuming a lot of them are not Christian. So Bible reading is not really an issue at that point. It comes more into play in chapter 12, where with disciples and people are actually wanting to read the Bible or not read the Bible for certain reasons. Okay. Yeah. What I, what I meant was, um, well, for communication of the gospel, for presentation of Jesus in chapter 11, uh, we need to go back to the scripture. So it's a question of, you know, different target people, how much scripture is available? Do, do they have the complete New Testament or just portion of the New Testament? Or do they have the complete whole Bible, Old and New Testament? Um, but definitely, you know, <laughs> the Bible is the key element both for communication of the gospel and also for discipleship and church planting. Uh, it, it just that in, uh, in uh, chapter eight, when we do the linguistic study, uh, you know, all these things, linguistic study, social distinctives, uh, um, distinctives or social distinct elements, we want to see their impact on these two area, communication of the gospel, 
and discipleship and church planting. So when you discuss linguistic, make sure you show how, you know, some of you have done that, that uh, how the, the, this unique language with its unique structure, how does it just impact the work of a translation? So in that, in chapter eight, we are more interested in a uh, linguistic aspect um, of Bible translation. In chapters 11 and 12, we are uh, more interested in how, how, how now how are you going to use uh, the scripture that you have in sharing the gospel and making disciples. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, uh, and again, let me explain, before I contact the people, uh, the, the prof for making an appointment, um, I need to have your completed ethnography project. Uh, you can work on your uh, PowerPoint later on after that, uh, but I can make an appointment unless I have that ethnographic project because I need to send them a copy uh, for them to see. Um, uh, again, uh, I want to emphasize, try to be, um, uh, keep up with the schedule, but don't sacrifice the quality of your work just for the sake of making the deadline. It's better to be late. It's better even to be late for a week uh, rather than submitting something that might have <laughs> lots of problem later on. Um, but again, you know, keep a balance. You don't want to be uh, too far um, off balance from the schedules either. Because now fortunately, because you are not um, in a time pressure for commencement and all that, uh, you know, you have till the end of August and even you need more time, we can give you an extension uh, for all the whole month of September. Uh, so in that way, you have lots of time. But again, do your best when you submit that first draft, uh, do your best so that it will be, I mean, think of it as, as if that this is your final draft. Now, of course, they will ask you to do some correction, but uh, don't go with the mentality, of, okay, this is just a rough draft. No, no, present your best. No, they, will, they always ask for correction and uh, some changes. Do I make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Any other questions? Well, guys, we are coming to the end. <laughs> this is good. And when you finish, when you come to the end, just make sure you go over your ethnographic project. Make sure that your table of content, the page numbers corresponds to the chapter because things changes as you make addition, as you make changes, uh, add things, subtract things, you know, uh, um, uh, make sure that the table of content and the page number correspond to the chapter, to the figures, to the tables. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, any other question? So at the very end, I know uh, this is for next week. Um, just, I want to complete the thesis from the beginning to the end. Um, all of the chapters, everything with the appendix and everything, all of them together. All right. Okay. Uh, if no other question, uh, then uh, we can close with prayer and uh, I'll see you guys next Monday. Any, no, nothing else? Okay, you are all doing fine. Uh, Tim, when are you planning to fly to US? Oh, I'm actually in the U.S. right now. Oh, you're but, in the, you're here. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm oh. planning on going back to Mongolia on uh, August 16th. August when? Oh, August 16th. August 16th. Okay. Yeah. Um.
I will do my best, but I can't promise that we can have a <laughs> the oral defense for you before that date. But mm -hmm. it's okay because you can we can always do it via Zoom also if you weren't here. Okay. Okay. Great. Yeah, that'd be good. Okay. Oh, Professor. Actually, I just thought of a quick question. Is that okay? Sure, sure, <laughs> sure. We end here, but that's a quick thing. Uh, you, in the, it's just a formal formatting kind of thing. Usually, we um, italicize like foreign words, right? Like if there's a word in a Visayan language or any okay. other dialogue or whatever language, we italicize it, right? Yes, yes. How about if there's a direct quote from a source that did not italicize a foreign word? Do we still do that to fit our overall scheme? Or do okay. That? okay, that's a very good question. When when you, uh, lots of times this happens that you are quoting, you're making a direct quote from right. somebody else and that person uh, is not following all these uh, Trubian format, uh, correct them, you know, okay. you, you correct them <laughs> because uh, we are act actually, you're acting like an editor for them in a way. Right. Yeah. So those are permissible changes that we do not need to say, like put mm -hmm. a, some some note or something. No, okay. yeah. good. Just just correct it and just right. you don't need to mention anything. Okay, good. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Good guys. All right, then let's pray and commit our time to the Lord till next week. Uh, Tim, can I ask you to pray for us? Yes. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, God, we thank you, Lord, for this day, and thank you, Father, for the work that you are doing in each one of our lives. Thank you, Father, for um, giving us the opportunity to research our people groups, and thank you, Father, for uh, giving us the strength and endurance to uh, work on our ethnography projects, Lord. We pray, Father, for continued uh, endurance and perseverance and energy to uh, be able to um, uh, complete the race, Lord. And we pray, Father, for your uh, guidance and that may uh, you get the glory in all that we do uh, in this class. We pray this in your name. Amen. 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 Thank you, guys. See you okay, next Monday. You. Yeah. Okay. See you next Take week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.